Hello and welcome. I'm Gargi Rawat and you're watching me live on youtube.com slash NDTV and that's the site to go to for all the videos on NDTV, all our shows, all our stories and every day we ask you the viewers and those who uh, you know access NDTV online what are the stories that you want to know more about. So let's just take a look at the pick of the stories uh, that we had for you today and these are the top five stories give chance to single largest party the Shiv Sena said so that of course uh, we have a conclusion on that we'll just get to that in a moment writer Atish Tessi citizenship status revoked very poor Delhi pollution spikes again pollution remaining one of the top stories and how Punjab Haryana are directly affected are directly polluting Odisha and Chennai remember Punjab and Haryana forest uh, farm fires are the cause for pollution in Delhi as well during this season the smoke comes from there and because of the you know wind movement and uh, and uh, the, the, you know the weather factors we're seeing that actually the smoke uh, from the stubble burning in Punjab and Haryana is even going to Odisha and Chennai and causing pollution there as well and the other big story uh, tomorrow of course would be uh, the Kartarpur uh, corridor opening uh, between India and Pakistan and the first Jatha uh, to go there uh, to uh, Kartarpur Sahib so that would be the other big story uh, tomorrow now the big development has been Maharashtra remember it's been 15 days since the election results were announced however the BJP and Shiv Sena even though they went into the elections as alliance partners however the Shiv Sena claimed that they had had a promise uh, from the BJP on 50-50 power sharing and that the BJP had uh, agreed to a, a, a rotational chief ministership that there would be a chief minister from the Shiv Sena for two and a half years. Now the BJP claimed that no such agreement was made. Earlier a chief minister Devinder Fadnavis said that uh, he was going to be the chief minister for the next five years. That statement not taken uh, too well. However, today Devinder Fadnavis actually went in to meet uh, the governor because tonight at midnight is when the term for the Maharashtra assembly expires so it would be a constitutional crisis so he went in and submitted his resignation the governor asking him to continue as the caretaker a uh, chief minister now and uh, that is something he's agreed to however they will have to you know so give them some breathing room uh, the BJP perhaps to renegotiate with the shift in or you know agree to their demands that, that how that may be unlikely we don't know whether how uh, how how this would go right now the NCP and Congress watching in the wings um, there has been talk of uh, also about uh, you know horse trading and poaching of MLAs uh, the Shiv Sena moved all its MLAs into a hotel in Bandra and today evening in fact they're going to be shifting uh, those MLAs to a hotel on Mad Island uh, the Congress MLAs meanwhile have been shifted to a hotel in Jaipur though for the moment we haven't been able to track any of those uh, Congress MLAs and uh, today uh, Sharad Pawar also holding uh, meetings and you know he came out and spoke to the media that uh, the B people of Maharashtra voted for the Mahayuti so the BGP and Shiv Sena have to come together and form a government and, and that the NCP and Congress will wait in the wings, they'll wait in the opposition However, we don't know what uh, may be happening behind the scenes. This is something that, uh, you know, whether this is a smoke screen, Shal Pawar talking about, you know, how they're uh, uh, all right about we, uh, being in the opposition for the next five years. Because remember, there's been speculation about a Shiv Sena, uh, you know, chief minister supported by both the NCP and the Congress. The numbers would make that a possibility. However, the Congress has ruled this out. The seniors in the Congress and Congress President Sonia Gandhi ruling out supporting uh, a Shiv Sena chief minister that's something unthinkable uh, for them uh, at least it was earlier however there are some MLAs of the Congress young MLAs who feel the priority needs to be to keep uh, the, the BJP government out of the state and, and because it could be very damaging to the opposition that you know they're fearful of what uh, may happen you know there have been all these cases of enforcement directorate case CBI case raids etc etc so obviously there is a lot of fear about what could happen uh, you know, and that their priority should be to keep a BJP chief minister uh, out, a BJP government out. Uh, so, Devinder Fadnavis there uh, talking uh, to the media during which time he squarely blamed the shift in and he says that he was shocked uh, to hear Uddhav Thakre's statement after, uh, you know, the election results had come out saying that all options are open. He says we went in as alliance partners and how could he talk about all options uh, being open? He said, uh, given the statements, especially against the Prime Minister, uh, we are stunned and hurt. No one from the BJP ever targeted Bal Thakre uh, or Uddhav Thakre. But the way the Sena relentlessly attacked Modi ji, even our rivals didn't. We cannot accept it. It seems the Shiv Sena is not interested in continuing uh, the alliance. So it will be very interesting to see what goes ahead. As he said, Mr. Fadnav is saying that he was aghast 
and taken aback at uh, Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre's statement that all options are open. He said the people hadn't voted uh, for BJP or Shiv Sena. In fact, he says that uh, you know at, at over the that it it is uh, them together, the Mahayuti, the alliance that got uh, voted for. And he says at least in my presence there was never any agreement about a rotational chief minister or sharing of chief ministership for two and a half and two and a half years. This is something that Shiv Sena has claimed uh, that uh, was agreed to in February, and they said it was announced at a press conference as well where they spoke about you know 50 50 power sharing though they the, and they the Fadnavis though has maintained that never extended to the chief ministership that was only sharing of portfolio so we are expecting Uddhav Thakri also to address the media in a short while from now and we'll know further what happened so for the moment uh, what is going on in Maharashtra is that there's going to be a caretaker government in place uh, Devendra Fadnavis will be the caretaker uh, chief minister as the Maharashtra assembly the term ends tonight at midnight. Now, uh, the other uh, big story is uh, about uh, Atish Tehsi, writer and columnist, well-known writer and columnist. He uh, is somebody who lives in the United States and his uh, overseas citizen of India card has been revoked. Now, the government claims and uh, there have been statements uh, by the Home Ministry spokespersons on uh, Twitter. They say that Atish Tehsir actually hid the fact that his father, Salman Tehsir, was a Pakistani, that his father was a Pakistani. And any uh, person whose uh, parent is Pakistani, a parent is Pakistani, is not eligible uh, for the OCI or Overseas Citizen of India card. However, Atish Tehsir has hit back claiming uh, that this is uh, a reprisal for, uh, you know, his ri writing against the Prime Minister. He wrote this article for Time magazine just ahead of elections uh, against uh, Prime Minister Modi calling him divider in chief. So, he says it's because of that article uh, that, you know, this action is being taken and he says that uh, uh, that uh, at the time of his birth, his father was actually a British citizen. And uh, so he has hit back his mother, of course, a very well-known journalist and columnist in India, Tablin Singh, who has been his sole legal guardian. So, uh, you know, this story also we're waiting uh, for more updates. It, it's a developing story and uh, maybe Atish Tehsir will take some action. Tavleen Singh also defending her son and speaking out and saying how she, uh, the mother has been an Indian citizen all this while and you know how can he be denied this and how she was uh, you know the sole parent and, uh, and, and how the Home Minister and the Home Ministry did not like what Atish Tehsir had written. So that is the other big story that we're tracking and then uh, the Kartarpur uh, corridor opening tomorrow. So that's a big, big moment coming at a time of uh, you know this distrust between India and Pakistan. But this is something both countries managed to push through uh, that uh, that Indians will be able uh, to go uh, uh, across the Kartarpur corridor and visit the Gurdwara uh, Darbar Sahib. Uh, now, uh, there will be a jatha that will be going uh, tomorrow. Uh, it, it includes the former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh, also Chief Minister of Punjab, Captain Amrinder Singh, and uh, Union Ministers Hardeep Puri and Harsimrit Kaur Badal, and also uh, Congress MLA Navjot Singh Sidhu, who was uh, has, has finally been given political clearance. There was a bit of controversy regarding that, that he wasn't uh, being given that political clearance and he was writing. He wrote two, three letters to the government uh, asking uh, for permission and also Sunny Diol, who is the member of parliament from Gurdaspur, is also uh, going to be a part of this uh, jatha that's going to go tomorrow. And he, in fact, said, if I won't go, who will? I'll definitely go. It's my area and my home. So that is what he said. So this is going to be the big news uh, tomorrow. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do remember to log on to youtube.com slash NDTV to find out what are the top stories that we're tracking. And let us know what you think about the stories as well. You can write in to us with all your comments and opinions and do vote for your story of the day thanks for watching goodbye